Hi, in this video I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and uh, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. Uh, black for in mice that is capital B is dominant to brown fur that is small b. Short tails that is uh, capital T are dominant to long tails that is uh, small t, what fraction of the progeny of the cross of the two um, mice with uh, this and this uh, genotype will have black fur and long tails. And in order to solve this problem, we have to consider each um, trait separately. So this is a uh, trait for the color in uh, first uh, mice and this is uh, trade for the color in the second and uh, when we build a Punnett square we would be able to see what uh, uh, is a portion of their progeny uh, would uh, have black fur uh, as given here so uh, let's put for example capital B and small b uh, on top of the first uh, mice and uh, capital B and capital B on the side, the genotype of the second mice and as you see here we would have capital B, capital B, capital B, small b, capital B, capital B and capital B, small b. So this means that 100% of uh, such a cross uh, we would have uh, mice with black uh, hair, black fur. So uh, let's now um, consider the second trait. And here for the first uh, mice, we have short tail uh, in heterozygous form, and here we have a uh, long tail. So let's uh, once again consider this. Um, uh, cross and uh, here we would put capital T and small t on top and small t and small t uh, on the side. Once again we build Punnett square and here what we are going to get. Uh, in the first cell this is going to be capital T small t, small t, small t here and capital T small t here and uh, small t small t here. So our question is uh, black fur and long tails. And as you see in 50% uh, we would have uh, uh, mice with uh, uh, long uh, uh, tails. And uh, in 100% we would have uh, them uh, with black fur. So this gives us uh, uh, answer D. So 100% uh, of the progeny of this cross would be uh, black, would have black fur and half of them also would uh, have uh, long tails. So uh, this meet our requirements, so that means that one half uh, of the progeny would have uh, black fur and uh, long tails. So let's now move to the second question. In certain plants, tall is dominant to short. If heterozygous plant is crossed with a homozygous tall plant, what is the probability that the offspring will be short? So what we have here, uh, we have uh, one heterozygous plant. So let's once again build a Punnett square. So heterozygous means that one allele is dominant, another one recessive we put it on the top, and another one would be homozygous uh, plant, uh, homozygous uh, tall. So that means that both alleles would be dominant. And of course when we cross uh, to such uh, genotypes, uh, all the outcome of such cross 
uh, would be 100% all tall plants. Those, as you see here, uh, half of the progeny would be heterozygous, but still, because uh, this is simple Mendelian genetics and capital A dominant over the uh, small a, uh, this uh, heterozygous plants also would be tall. So, uh, our uh, question is, uh, what is the probability that the offspring will be shot? And the correct answer C, zero, zero probability, because 100% uh, uh, of the progeny of the such cross would be tall. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. See you in the next video. Goodbye.